guys and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video we are going to talk about how to not look boring i'm pretty sure that none of us that are on this channel wants to look boring so today i'm going to give you my best tips on how to not look boring the best style tips style hacks ideas that you can apply to your style already today to make your outfits more interesting if you're new to this channel hey my name is sandra i'm a fashion stylist and i do videos about style hacks style tips outfit ideas for all kind of different occasions and you should definitely subscribe if you like the Scandinavian style, minimalistic style, personal details and ways of dressing up. Hit that subscribe button and put on the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload something new. And as always, remember to like the video mm, if you like what I do. Tip number one is to dress fully in one color from head to toe. This is called a monochrome outfit and it will look extra luxurious. But here's the tip on how to actually dress like this. You should be applying the rule of three that I have been talking about in the past, which means to use three different shades of one of the same color. Imagine the forest, imagine the sea. When you really think about it, the sea is not only blue and the forest is not only green. In different parts of the woods, in different parts of the sea, you are gonna have different shades of the same color. Where it's lighter, it's gonna be light green, light blue, and almost white. In darker shades, where you have no sunlight coming through, it's gonna be darker, dark blue, navy, it's gonna be really, really jade green or something darker. This is the same way you can be thinking when you are adding an outfit on your body. Take one color, but use different shades of the same color. Let me show you. Here we have a monochrome outfit. We have the color beige, but we have the color beige in different shades. We have a more lighter, colder kind of beige. We have a top that is almost brown. And we have the jacket a little bit warmer, but still very nice looking together. Tip number two is, of course, as always, accessories. I can't say this enough, but when you're not using accessories, that's when you're losing most out of your outfit. Decide what's best for you. Is it to have one bigger piece that you only wear one of them? Uh, or for example, a pair of big earrings and one big ring, is that you? Or are you more into the minimalistic person that wants small pieces but all over the place? Then go for that. Use those accessories. They are so important for the outfit and totally change the outfit. Tip number three is to mix different type of materials. For example, leather with a knitted sweater, something shiny with something that is a little bit more rough, for example, denim, silk with wool, for example. There are many ways to apply this rule, but this is definitely gonna make you a more interesting outfit and you will definitely not look boring. And this outfit was actually a really good example of, of this because we have the very, very, we have the very matte cotton pants but we are combining it with a leather jacket that gives a totally different structure and texture which will make this outfit so much more interesting compared to if the jacket was also in some kind of cotton fabric then they would be so much alike which could be of course very nice but this will definitely mix everything up and be more interesting. I'm wearing right now, we have jeans and we have a knitted sweater. Of course, this works together and it looks good, but actually if we would like to dress this up even more and make it even more interesting, what we should add to the knitted sweater is, of course, something in a totally different fabric, which is, for example, leather. By changing these up, this looks more interesting. Tip number four is to mix fancy and casual items together. Don't let that fancy festive top just hang in there in your closet, not be used for anything but party. Please use it in your everyday closet as well. Dress it together with just a pair of casual jeans and sneakers. 
add a cardigan and a blazer and you have something that will also work for everyday wear you can also the silk skirt is a really good example for this kind of outfits as well just wear them with sneakers and you have the very very nice combination that will definitely look more interesting tip number five if you are a person that wears mostly neutrals and you are afraid of wearing color well then add just one pop of color it's actually quite easy to just grab a bag in one really poppy type of color imagine adding a orange bag to an all black outfit wow that will definitely look so much more interesting tip number six i feel like i'm always saying this but dress in layers that doesn't mean it has to be super hot you can take thinner type of layers but also layering also means adding for example a little silk scarf it means adding those jewelry but also of course add a shirt under a knitted sweater add a vest on top of a of a long sleeve layer a knitted sweater with a blazer add a turtleneck under a dress there are so many different ways to layer and always try to think how can you do more with your outfit just by layering and it will definitely make your outfit look a lot more interesting tip number seven we have mixed sporty and fancy and this goes together with dress to combine casual and fancy but also sporty and business looks very nice imagine wearing a suit pants together with a pair of sneakers it looks amazing and for example to wear heels with a pair of cargo pants that are so trendy at the moment that will look so good so much more interesting eight is to put a belt on it and this can go with just any type of outfit especially right now belts are so trendy and a belt adds so much to an outfit because they are really in the middle of your body and just that little tiny buckle that you have that gives so much to your outfit it gives an interesting look and it's sort of a jewelry just by itself so if you are a minimalist and you don't wear a lot of jewelry overall adding a belt will definitely give your outfit that something extra you don't only have to wear the belt with pants or jeans you could of course also belt a skirt you can belt a blazer that's for example my type of favorite kind of belt outfit and just whatever also on coats instead of using the belt that goes with the coat add a belt that you have in your closet and right now you can find so many beautiful belts secondhand that are vintage and i'm obsessed i don't know how many <laughs> these type of belts i have in my closet but definitely use those belts because it's such an easy way to to change your outfit a lot for example, here we have an oversized coat and not many people would actually think about adding a belt to this one, but it will look so much better. So remember that you can change belt on clothes that already comes with a belt. For example, this skirt, it already has this matching belt, but why do you have to use that one? You don't have to. You can, Of course, you can change it and instead of wearing that one, you could add still a black belt, but it's with the golden detail and this way you can make it much more personal and interesting and my last tip for today is to before you step out the door go to your mirror stand in the mirror and look at yourself and ask yourself what three things can you do to your outfit before leaving the house and the first thing is of course can you layer something more can you put on some kind of necklace can you add something to your hair? Can you just add a blazer? What can you do to layer that outfit? Second thing you can ask yourself is what can you do with what you're wearing? Can you tuck something up that you're wearing instead of wearing it down? Can you take up the sleeves? Can you take up the pants a little bit? Can you add a brush? Can you add a belt? Can you change your lipstick? Because of course, if you're wearing a neutral lipstick and you would add a red lipstick. That would look amazing and totally change up your outfit. But of course, also, can you remove something? Because sometimes that's what we have to do. When we look at ourselves in the mirror, maybe it's just too much. Maybe we need to remove something. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!